Um, yeah, anyway, today I'm gonna do a movie review that I completely didn't plan to do, uh, but here it is. On September 1st, I wanted to hang out with my cousin before he returns to UK to study. And my cousin was like, let's watch a movie. And uh, there were a lot of movies that were, you know, in the cinema. Uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which is uh, a movie that I really wanted to see. Uh, we got Parasite, the South Korean movie, which has an awesome trailer. Uh, but no, of course, we're going to watch some, you know, regular average action pick. But you know what? It's, it's like my cousin's second last day in Hong Kong before he had to return. So you know what? I respect his choice. Let's go watch this movie. So me, my cousin, and his parents, we went to the cinema. We sat down in front of the big screen and we watched Angel Has Fallen. And Angel Has Fallen is actually the third movie in a trilogy. The Fallen Trilogy. We have the first movie, Olympia Has Fallen, which is a pretty nice, exciting, sometimes nerve-wracking, sometimes intense action movie where basically a bunch of terrorists attack the White House. I saw that movie like a few years ago, and I think it's okay. It's not all that great, but it's still pretty entertaining. And then we have the second movie, which is just kind of okay, maybe a little bit worse than okay, like meh, it's not that great, it's kind of formulaic, kind of average, kind of predictable, uh, that's London Has Fallen, um, and then now we have Angel Has Fallen, which um, pretty much has fallen on the same category as average, predictable, and formulaic. Yes, it's really formulaic. This time, uh, terrorists try to attack the president again. And meanwhile, they frame the president's best bodyguard, which is played by Gerard Butler, aka the main character of the trilogy. And of course, the president is played by Morgan Freeman, which is pretty cool, I guess. Uh, but it's not that great anyway. We also have Lance Reddick in the movie playing the uh, second best bodyguard. Anyway, now that Gerard Butler is framed, he is on the run. He is escaping the, the, the authorities. He, is, he was escaping the, you know, the Secret Service and the cops and the FBI. And uh, meanwhile, we have the terrorists still lurking in the background. And that's basically it. This movie really follows a really strict and predictable formula, like um, a pretty scary uh, first act, a pretty freaky and fun and weird second act, and an ultimate final act. And that's it. The first and second acts, they are just okay in my opinion. Um, they're not that great. They're pretty normal. The third act, aka the last act, is actually pretty entertaining. It's way more long-winded. It's way more ambitious. More buildings explode. More cars crash. More people fight and die. It's way more exciting. The stakes are higher and I like it. But other than that, I still have three more complaints about the movie. Number one, the CGI is pretty crappy. Yeah, enough said. Number two, sometimes uh, the camera movements in the action sequences are just too shaky. You know when your camera is too shaky, if you enlarge your FOV, it's going to look less shaky. But in the action sequences in this movie, they shrunk the FOV to make it look even more shaky. And I just can't figure out what the hell's happening half the time. And also another thing that I kind of dislike about this movie is that sometimes a character is at one location and then in the next shot he or she is at another location and in the next shot he or she is in the same location again 
in the beginning and it just jumps back and forth like it's a montage or something except it's not so it's kind of confusing especially at first when it gets kind of choppy but uh still i am entertained by the last act and uh i think uh gerard butler's character's dad in this movie is um uh i mean he does you know provide a bit of a comedy in the movie uh but he also doesn't do much um but um yeah basically that's it it's a it's a pretty formulaic regular average movie if you want to watch a movie this week um watch parasite watch once upon a time in hollywood if it's still up uh, watch it chapter two uh not this not this um yeah anyway I am feeling a, a strong 5 to a light 6 out of 10 for the movie. And also, I'm saying this movie is meh. Actually, maybe I'll go with a strong 5 because it's just really, you know, in the middle. It's mediocre. Um, so, what are your thoughts on Angel Has Fallen? From 1 to 10, how much did you rate it? Like if you like it. Hit if you hate it. And subscribe if you want more. And thanks for watching.